What's going on? Um, hey, everybody. What's up? First of all, I'm so sorry. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank y'all. Uh, also, please, I would like y'all to follow me on all social networks and sites at MC Shaker Lab. There's different content for different sites all the time. All right. So, I was back in five minutes as promised. All right. So, we're going to look at... So, today... Hey, everybody. I'm feeling sexy today. I don't know why. It's okay. I didn't make up my bed because of my day off. And I'm going to get right back in it after I do this video. <laughs> after this stream, I just go right back in it. Um, also, uh, so don't judge me. Just, I usually, I'll have my bed made. But uh, yeah, thank y'all so much. Um, my mom is fine. She's all right. I just talked to her. Y'all know how she really is. So, um, all right. So, as y'all know, a little re just a brief, 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 brief recap. Um, and if y'all pay attention, if y'all follow me, y'all know that a couple of days ago, well, actually it's all started a while ago. We were the first blog vlog to really have a substantial case based on the fact that New Orleans Maven, Big Booty Judy may be going with international rapper, the Brett and, uh, everything. So we were the first blog to put. So other blogs did mention it first, but we were the first blog to substantiate it with an actual paper trail or receipts, as we say over here. Um, so Sunday, we felt that it was confirmed by our sources that they were in and around Atlanta real close. It was confirmed by our sources. And then we actually had footage of them at the parade that was exclusive to. I had the best footage. And so Sip Nation was the first with that as well. So much so that, um, first give it out of the past, the first lady, okay? So, first, <laughs> so we were the first to, in a sense, break that story in a sense that something may be going on there. Um, we did not confirm that they were married or getting married or anything like that. And I left the post up on my Instagram and my Twitter that suggested that is this who she may be talking about when she's posted a wedding thing? Um, the next day, Judy posted something in regards like, I'm tired of the blogs fighting over my tea and I'm going to spill my own tea. I'm sick of the blogs, yada, 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 yada. And I'm like, well, sister, you're a public figure. Hey, it is what it is. Um, I did. Um, so that's where this kind of leading up to. Um, the blogs fighting... That's really not nothing to do with Hutty. That's in general. And shout out to On Site. I don't know if y'all know who that is, but y'all make sure y'all follow them because I do. And uh, On Site is the, my baby. I love this woman. Um, Milagro. And I, 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 I'm so, she has such a unique name. Everybody call her Millie. She uh, does my radio, but she also is a correspondent, uh, a co host, I'm sorry, on uh, On Site. And she was actually one of the first people to actually interview me when I didn't even know what the hell blogging was. I was just being messed and petty and didn't know that there was a level of professionalism to it as well. So uh, shout out to her. But even her, and let's look at that right now. I mean, let's look at, I'm, I'm going to show y'all, well, not the whole thing, but, we, and we're going to get into the tea. So just sit back and we're going we're gonna to see this thing out. Um, let me go over here. Bob. And let's, let, me, let, me, let me just show this. So on site is her the dude, um, Richard Lomax, who I think is a makeup artist. I'm not too sure. I'm gonna actually end up finding out. And everybody know Riley. And so, um, oh, what am I looking up? Oh yeah. So let's, let's look at it real quickly and see what they say. Cause this is what it was about. It was about her stealing people's stuff like that. Like, don't do that. It was talking about the girl feet. And so they did a whole little epithet on that so let's um let me just put it up right quick because i have it on instagram but this is just a, um, a summary of what according to shaky fee has been stealing stories and charging people for her exclusive tea he brings up countless bbb claims for fraud and not paying back her many unsatisfied customers so i got to talk to shaky shout out to him and he was basically letting me know that he had put out some information that he saw again and a lot of people that have blogs have recognized their stories on these on her site and she blocks you 
So Shaky noticed, I noticed mm-hmm. him, that I was blocked. And then people send in the story. They send in the story that they send that post. So, okay, I can't, I'm not, I think of copyright issues, I can't show like the whole thing. But, okay, so look. So, Bossa picked up the story and gave me credit. And a lot of other blog sites have, as well as a lot of things. And I appreciate them for that. Um, this is what, and so this is a part of what we're doing. But this is actually a girl, you know, a little, you know, little name dropping, if it is today. So, so the when Judy was like, the blogs are fighting over her teeth. <sighs> no, sister. We're, I'm fighting me for what's rightfully in a sense like my neck is on the line sometimes when you make a story and you put something yeah so she blocked us but she got burn pages or whatever still as he the girl feet from gossip of the city pretend like she don't know us but i also showed the receipts of where she was in my inbox apologizing when she had did it to me before um so what that what i want to say is that this business like any other business is competitive uh but it's a it's a matter of just general respect when i do post a story if like she's po- a lot of stuff she gets she get from lipstick alley and that's like, when i said something i mentioned lipstick alley before but i've also said well this is coming from the girls over there in lipstick alley because the girls over there in lipstick alley they get their teachers as well when i say okay well this comes from who i always say well this is who i got this from and so you know whatever but and so shout out to them for showing me the correct way and um and I appreciate Ra Ali, you know, sipping with us, girl, <laughs> which is, I mean, she's famous as well. And Millie, we love you. Um, I don't know uh, Ricard Lomax, uh, Richard Lomax too well. I've heard of him, like, in and around and stuff like that, but I don't really um, know too much about him. So um, I will find out, you know, but you're, you're not, I'm not I'm going to find out <laughs> everything about it. So um, water today, not tea. Um, I'm not even doing keto today. It's like one of those days I just don't feel like doing keto, but I'm going to drink water. All right. So now, with that being said, this is the thing that people were saying. So she, so Judy then posted this video, which I'm about to play now. Let's get into that. This is what she posted the other day. Remember, this is after she said that she was posting a video about she was posting a video to clear up her own tea because she's tired of the blogs doing it. Next post of hers was marketing goat, and then uh, g- marketing genius, and all that stuff like that. She's touting herself as a marketing genius. Now, <sighs> stop playing about. <laughs> stop. Stop playing in my face. And I've said this before. I've gone on record to say, listen, as a public figure that's selling something, you're asking not only... So public figures that's just entertainers are not, in a sense, directly asking for our money. They're just public... So like an actor, like Will Smith, yeah, he asked you to come to his movie, but the tangible product you're getting there is the entertainment that he is. In the case of these internet celebrities, they're not having a tangible entertainment product. They're having a tangible product in the case of this. And so the thing is this. You're not, you, in the case of that, you're asking us not to pay, not only to pay you attention for your entertainment, but also to buy your product. And the trade-off that you have made for that is that you have invited us into your life. 
That's a trade-off. That's it. The trade-off is you have invited us into your world. We are here. We are part of it. We've invested our time. And in this case, our money on a tangible product. And sometimes those people, people, uh, people get the products because of the person and not necessarily because of what it does. Because I'm sure some people bought it just to support her. Some people did. Some people bought it just to support. And so the trade-off there is you are invited us into your life. Buy my products because y'all fuck with me, because y'all know me, because y'all know me through these things. And so at root, whether the products work or not, that's not the discussion here. I have heard things about the products. I, of course, don't use either of the products from these girls. But so so that, that's the differentiation between yeah. them and maybe like say for somebody like Tokyo, who's just selling entertainment. It's not a tangible product, it's entertainment. And so the the same stuff doesn't qu- quantify because then when you buy sell a tangible product, you become part of you have it's customer service issues, it's just things like that. You know, you become we and so we are completely invested in you. We've given you money. For yeah, so don't play in our face like that. And I didn't think that was a, so when they were saying marketing go, I don't think like people looked at it and laughed and kikied and her idiotic blind supporters was like, oh, you showed them. No, she showed y'all because y'all investing in y'all pay for that. Y'all pay for that now. This, this, this it come out of her pocket, but the how the money get into her pocket initially is from y'all blind people. And the only thing y'all want to ask her to do is be candorous and forthright about her life. If I'm not the only one that sees it that way, that this is like you, your, 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 you, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, so you post this. So okay. Now I wanted to know. I actually did. I was I, I was about to DM her, but I actually unsent it because I was like, if this is predictive marketing. You might be on to something, sister. And I would have to give you a problem. I already said she was smarter than super. I've been saying that. But <laughs> but if this was predictive, when I say predictive marketing, is this. There's no way she could have known that Fee was going to come on my page, steal something on my page, and I go on a rant. And so now the blogs are picking up. The blogs are fighting. She couldn't have predicted that. She could have predicted the blogs are picking up and try to spin it different ways. She couldn't pick up. So now, if, but if her putting... The brat in her world for this marketing ploy, and she did that predictively, that might be smart. But let me tell you something. The reason I don't think that is because of this. And I'm gonna show you. Give me a second. I'm gonna put this motherfucker. All right, so she posted. Let me see if I can get it. Not that this. All right, so let me show you. Bop, bring it up. This says, "Hold on." It says, "I honestly, I honestly used to love." This is from her. I honestly used to love to share everything with y'all, but social media has given too many people a false sense of what reality is. No, posting I'm getting married after all year talking about how you happy being single is a false sense of reality, sister. You may have given you a false sense of what reality is. The seeds were planted by you. And so people's like, no, leave her alone. Let her live her life. What this, so if your business is selling canola oil laced with cayenne pepper, that's your business. If my business is filling, if selling these daggone teacups, then I'm gonna start selling <laughs> these coffee mugs. That's my business. So at the same time, however you decide to entertain as you, if I'm a so as me being a person who's messy by nature and petty, 
vlogging it happened to just fall on me because that's just what it is. So don't tell me nothing about you don't preach to me about a false sense of reality when in all actuality you call yourself see watch this you call yourself a marketing goat like you intended for this to happen right so how can i have a false sense of reality when i'm doing exactly what your intentions were you feel what i'm saying like you if you say i'm the marketing goat so you intended to so let's say for the sake of argument, you're not getting married. There's no such thing as the brand. Brand is your partner. This, that, now stuff going on. Whatever, whatever. And so, if you intended for this to happen due to your ingenious predictive marketing, then how in the world do I have a false sense of reality when I'm doing exactly what your intentions was in the beginning? And I'm not just speaking on me. I'm speaking on every single blog that picked up this story. Every single one, with the exception of Fee. Dirty dust to tell. So how can we, you have a false sense of reality? Because now you feel like you have done you something wrong when in all actuality, we did exactly what your uh, predictive marketing wanted. That's why I don't think she's smart. That's why I don't think she's a marketing genius. Because why? Because of this post right here. And she says this. Like she feels bad. And I really do really feel like she don't want people in her business on this issue because it has something to do with alternative sexuality. And that goes against her branding with the religious people. I don't think, and this is me thinking, this is not receipts. I don't, and I don't think if he is messing with the brand, the brand is ready to come out of the closet, especially with her. So it's not a false sense of reality that we have. It's a false sense of reality that you have. Don't preach to us. And tell us this stuff. All right, so let's look at go into it. It also complicates relationships, and the trolls are in an all time high. There ain't nobody trolling you. The first thing we said was congratulations. We didn't know, but now we know. So I said, is that trolling? <laughs> Hold on. In choosing a more private love life. I've noticed a big difference. Why do public figures expect to have a private life? Why do they do it? I need somebody to explain. That. That's the way I gotta, I just gotta, let me just, you know what, I'm gonna just, oh, that's what I'm doing. So, so I don't have to keep doing that. Hold on, I want to say. They have to do this, so I have to keep doing it. Why do why do these public figures have a false sense of privacy? No. When you took our money and became millionaires off of our money, you we bought into your life, your brand, your company, and that was the trade-off. You cannot have a false sense of you can't have a false sense of oh, like I'm just private. Because you are selling a tangible product and you access the buyer in the trade-off that we are part of your life. All right. It's been so many things I wanted to share with y'all, but rather share with my closest friends. Sister, if you talk about them people, they're not your friends. But that's another story for another day. Um, being a public figure is one thing, Okay. That's the only thing here. I know my responsibilities as that goes and teaching is fine. But as far as the personal thing, after this last few days, seeing the response to a ring and comparing to what my reality really is day to day, y'all got me scared to share. Unless it's gonna sell you some products, huh? You ain't scared to you ain't scared to share nothing or do pull off nothing if it's gonna scare you some sell, sell some of them drops, huh? Who you think you're playing? We not. I, do you think that? That's that's not, girl. Stop it. I'm not hiding, but just know I'm not just gonna put it in your face for your opinions. Well, you know, I'm not that person that I had to take opinions with a grain of salt, sister. I had to learn that. At first, I didn't. I used to be petty, want 
You respond to everything all the time, everything. You go to some of my videos, me reading people to say and other stuff like that. Some things I do need to address, but half the things I don't, I'm working on it. And I think that she's been in this game long enough that she needs to know the difference. But at, at, at the same time, hey, it is what it is. So, what's up, Kogi girl? I gotta call you today, girl. I'm gonna call you, girl. I see you today. I'm gonna call you today, girl. It's been I've been I was busy. Girl. I have been busy. I'm gonna go take me a nap after this, and I'm gonna call. <clears throat> so you, your page isn't. You, that's what the comments are for. People's opinions. What, what are the comments for? What, what are comments for? Comments on somebody. So do you post and turn off your comments? You can't expect every single opinion to be something that's you're the most glorious person on the face of our planet Earth. You're the most wonderful person that ever did anything. Judy, these are the most miraculous drops and I've ever seen in my entire life. That's what you want every comment to be. Then buy your comment. You can buy a comment. I've, I've saw it. Buy. Buy. But don't tell us, don't put a quorum for your opinion. And then when the opinion doesn't agree with yours, <laughs> but hey. All right, so y'all ready for this? Let's get into it. Because <sighs> there was something else that came across my desk. Now, this is exclusive video. Not many people have this because not many people are petty like me and pay attention. But apparently, due to Judy receiving notoriety for potentially being in a relationship with the brat, people have been tagging and going into Judy's ex-girlfriend, Ro, going into her inbox, DMs, and stuff, and asking her what's going on, what's happening. What's what's this? What's this T? What's what's going on? Can you confirm? Well, we have that confirmation, and I'm about to play it now. Bruh, y'all really do the most. You hear me? Like, I normally don't do this kind of shit, but I, I just got to this time. You know what I'm talking about? Because a closed mouth don't get fed. Do me a favor and do me no favors. Me and Jessica been over. It's almost three and a half years. Stop inboxing me. Stop acting me. Look, me her over, all right? Let her live her life. Let me live mine. You know what I'm saying? I'm not no charity case or anything. I don't need nobody to tell me what she's doing. Just because I don't post what I don't post don't mean ain't nothing going on in my life. You understand what I'm saying? She choose to tell y'all what, when, where, why, and how, and everything that she's doing. That don't mean I ain't doing shit. You know what I'm saying? I just choose to keep my life private. I'm happy. I'm content with myself. So do me a favor and do me no motherfucking favors and keep tagging me in her and what she's doing. How you know I ain't know what she was doing already? How you know if she called me and told me what she was going to post? Y'all don't know that because I don't have to tell you that shit. So do me a favor. Don't come to my motherfucking page trying to find out no motherfucking information because I ain't like that. I'm not about to sit here and put you in my life. I don't have to. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to need y'all to stop that shit. Me and that girl over. We cool. She called me and told me what she needed to tell me. That shit over with. Do me a favor and do me no motherfucking favors. Thank you. All right. Bruh. Hold on. Y'all really do. There was two key parts in this that was kind of for me. One of them was like, how y'all know she ain't called me and let me know she ain't doing what she doing. And then she said, then Rose said, I know what she doing. Girl, what she doing? What is she doing? No, no, y'all looking at what Rose going on, but I think Ro knows something. Y'all not did y'all catch that? Am I, I know. I, look, hold up, get y'all, get y'all. Hold up, where my slippers that catch everything? Where my slippers that catch everything? It ain't about what she talking about. Still, ain't nobody worry about you. But what she had to call him, Chris, up my butchufa. 
I'm gonna, let's do this again. I'm going to do it again for y'all. I messed with y'all. I'm going to do it again. We're going to do it again. But there was a part. So Ooh, the most. You hear me? Like, I normally don't do this kind of shit, but I, I just got to this time. You know what I'm talking about? Because a closed mouth don't get faith. Do me a favor and do me no favors. Me and Jessica been over. It's almost three and a half years. Stop inboxing me. Stop hating me. Okay. Look, me her over. All right. Let her live her life. Let me live mine. You know what I'm saying? I'm not no charity case or anything. I don't need nobody to tell me what she's doing. Just because I don't post what I don't post, don't mean ain't nothing going on in my life. You understand what I'm saying? She choose to tell y'all what, when, where, why, and how, and everything that she's doing. That don't mean I ain't doing shit. You know what I'm saying? I just choose to keep my life private. I'm happy. I'm content with myself. So do me a favor and do me no motherfucking favors and keep tagging me in her and what she doing. How you know I ain't know what she was doing already? How you know? She we don't. <laughs> we don't know. But how you know what she doing? She called me and told me what she was going to post. Y'all don't know that because I don't have to tell you that shit. So do me a favor. Don't come to... What she was going to post, is that referring to the ring? So it's like, what is you... Like, is this like... like? So is she saying, you know... Mm -hmm. My motherfucking page trying to find out no motherfucking information because I ain't like that. I'm not about to sit here and put you in my life. I don't have to. You know understand what I'm saying? I'm going to need y'all to stop that shit. Me and that girl over. We cool. She called me and told me what she needed to tell me. Girl, what she needed to tell you? Girl, what she needed to tell you? I just want to, I'm sorry. You know, I'm the smartest person in the world. I ain't the smartest person in the world. I ain't the smartest person in the world. Girl. All right. This is why she looks so much like Peter Grimes. Girl, I don't know, girl. I don't know, girl. But I know this. This is much as I want this situation to just be over, I have a small feeling that it's just begun. We'll show you so, all right, I promise y'all to show y'all the video in this thing entirety and tell you how stupid she was for posting it. Um, <laughs> I promise to tell y'all about that, but there's something else I want to drop to y'all. So, this is how I'm gonna do this. Uh, I cannot show y'all on the computer because it's on my phone, but it looks like I can't get it from the phone. Uh, Oh, there you go. Girl, I hope she didn't think I had screenshot. I wish she was deleting messages. I hope she wasn't think I had screenshot everything. If I screenshot this phone, my other phone. Hold on one second. If I screenshot the other phone, y'all gonna give me a minute while I go and get my other phone because it was charging because I can't find it. So this is just a little drop, though, girl. Ah, there you go. All right. 
So what we know about this situation is this. We don't believe Judy is getting married. But the question about a her and a brat messing around, we, so nobody believes that the engagement was a foo-foo thing. We don't know what it was. We don't think that she's been engaged to by anybody. We have no confirmation. Um, <clears throat> if a marriage license would have been found, filed, I would have found it or something like that, a request for it or anything like that. Um, not that that's needed or anything or that that's done immediately, no. But if and when that happens, we'll definitely discuss it. So the question about them being engaged, I am of the mindset right now that the engagement is false. Now, the fact if they're messing around or not is in question still. Because while you have Judy never denying it or confirming it, you also have... So the question lies. So we know Judy mess around or have messed around before, at least in the past. But do the Brett even mess around? So I was looking at have the, the Brett ever admitted or denied having an alternative lifestyle. You, now, I've said this before, and I said this on live last night many times. You can't make somebody gay. If they're not gay, they're not gay. No matter how much stud and all this stuff they dress like, if they're not gay, they're not gay. You can only go by how somebody self identifies themselves, and you have to respect that. So if the bread is, if, if the bread is attesting that she is not gay, she is not gay, and we're going to go with that on this platform, and I pray that other rest of them do too. But <laughs> in the words of Somebody I know very well by the name of MC Shake. <laughs> MC Shake it live. The one that spins his head like this. You know how we used to start the cap up like this. If you don't have no receipts, you don't have no teeth. And I got receipts. <laughs> so it doesn't make any sense if this this is a moot subject. If the bread is not because see what came across my desk was that the bread wasn't ready for this. Like, she was like, oh, bitch, I didn't know all this dumb ass shit was about to come out. This is what came across my desk. That's not a receipt. That's speculation. I had got it from a friend of mine that stood there across my desk. It was no proof that she was not ready to come out or not, or vice versa. I must say that. I can't talk right now, I can't. Um, but something else fell in my lap that we're reviewing now. As soon as we get confirmation, I'm going to drop. And I want to share just a drop of that with y'all right now and let the rest do for another time. If I hung up on you the first time, obviously, what on earth does that mean? I'm busy, right? All right. I have come across personal messages. Call back, you know, block. That's what I call. Call back, man. Between Brett, do I say allegedly? I probably was gonna say this. Allegedly, private messages between a Brett and a female. I've come across this. Here is those private messages. This is her Instagram DM. That's it. I don't want to say what it says yet. We're reviewing it. I got to hide this part, but this this contains her real phone number messages personal skype conversations when she's actually on conversation with somebody fell asleep on the phone i have to hire the person this is a skype conversation that's not this is not public stuff and um okay i can't but there's something else there's something else And so once we review and confirm that there is a number that she has had, or so y'all, so y'all heard it here first. That could be catfish. That's what I'm saying. It has to be confirmed. It has to be confirmed. We have not confirmed that yet. Once I have confirmed that that is a number that she has now or have had, and I'm working on that. That's what that's I got some of my people on it. 
my people, people. Not, not, and, I, and listen. And so, what I'm actually want to get with another blogger on this so that I can make sure because this is a story that could confirm or deny her sexuality. So, what I need to do is, um, she's not gonna admit it, but you know, receipts don't lie. So, we're gonna, so once if I can confirm the 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 source is a very trusted source. Hello. Yes, I'm 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 busy right now, sweetheart. I just, I'm gonna have to call you back. Baby. I'm I'm a little busy. Right now. Oh. Come on. All right. Because this story makes no sense if the bread is not gay. But if the bread is an alternative sexuality, which is speculated but not confirmed, can we confirm it? So what I want to do is I'm going to. So I got some people on this for me that's helping with this. And let me say roll that beautiful being footage. But y'all, she fine though. I, I ain't gonna lie. You know, I date stud. I have dated a stud. And I, I will she could get it from me too. Hell, if you ever want a phone, girl. Yeah, I am, sister. So, this would confirm or deny her sexuality. Also, though, I will say this. If the information comes out to not be confirmable, I will come on the same platform and apologize and explain that it wasn't. I would do either way. If I can confirm it, I will come and talk about it and explain y'all what it is. If I can't and it's not confirmed, I will come on and apologize and say the same thing because that's how we built our platform on having receipts. This have come across my desk and these seem to be at surface and root legitimate receipts. However, they may not be and once I confirm it, I will def definitely I will definitely say either way. Yes, it was confirmed. No, it was not. Okay? That's the deal. All right. So, let me go take a nap because I am tired. <laughs> I will. What I will do is, um, once I get up from my nap, I should have the information I was looking for, and um, I will share it when it is either confirmed or either not confirmed. Whether we could confirm it or whether we could. Oh um, yeah, it ain't got nothing on me, girl. <laughs> I'm the best. I'm, I'm the goat. I don't even know what you're talking about. Fee, fee from who? Fee, fee who? All right, so make sure y'all please like, subscribe, share. Even if you don't like it, press a thumb down. The videos, I appreciate it. I love y'all. I am going to go ahead and get to work in the bed and then get to work on whatever I do. Um, I love y'all and I will definitely talk to y'all later. Thank y'all so much for coming. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all.